It's gonna be a very busy and loaded studio vlog. There's a lot to get done this week. I'm gonna make over 10 pairs of earrings. And yeah, it's gonna be a busy week. I think this is gonna be a bit of a longer vlog, but I would love if you could leave me a like. Please subscribe because I post new videos every single week. I'm being very consistent with that. I'll see you in the next clip. Bye. little toast earrings. But this will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that nine pairs of earrings. Okay, I'm gonna test it on you because you're a baby. Don't be mad. It's too big. <laughs> oh, she does not like it. Okay. It'll be really tight on Jared. And because I cast it off really loosely, do you see how loose this side is? Yeah. This is really tight. <laughs> it's, a, it's like a choker. <laughs> I didn't get as much painting as I wanted to get done yesterday. Today I'm just, I have to paint everything. Well, I don't have to, but I want to finish painting all of my pins and all of the new earring parts. And I normally make a very tiny batch. So last time I made five pairs, the time before that I also made five pairs, but this time I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 pairs. Four of them are already painted, so that's seven pairs left to be painted. I like I like when it's done painting, but the actual painting part is very painstaking and I my back always hurts when I do it because I bend over and I slouch too much. So I think I'm going to work on this. This is the Milano cookie box I found at college, my sophomore year of college, and I've had it ever since because I was like, this is a good box. <laughs> and I still have it, I put my clay in it, so I'm gonna use it as like a little pedestal so I can work like this and have them like this and paint like that. I worked on these yesterday and I'm just gonna finish it up. I like how they have little bangs. Hello, it is voiceover Megan. I thought I would do more voiceovers in this video because I think it might be a bit more engaging and might make my painting and packing montages a bit more interesting to watch. And I don't know, I feel like hearing someone's voice is a bit more personal sometimes than reading text. So yeah, I'm just gonna chit chat a little while you watch me paint all these very, very, very tiny details. By the way, these charms are like the size of my thumb, so. This is definitely detail-oriented work, as, as they say in the professional world. Um, but making these earrings was really, really fun. I've been reflecting a bit about my Etsy slash art journey up to this point. As some of you know, I started my Etsy shop because I was selling Animal Crossing pins to my TikTok followers. And... Because I was making so many of designs that weren't mine, it kind of felt like a very robotic art making process and it kind of sucked the joy out of things I really like, which are working with clay and painting and designing and making cute stuff with little animals and stuff on it. Um, and now I no longer make and sell Animal Crossing pins, mainly because well, one, I'm, I'm really tired of it. I think I did so much of it. I just, the thought of it makes me feel, ugh. And I'm worried about Nintendo copyright stuff and them taking my Etsy store down. So I'd rather just not get entangled with that. But um, now that I'm making my own designs, I feel like it's 
feel like the creative process is a lot more interesting and fun and engaging and yeah I'm just having a really good time I feel like making earrings sparks a lot of joy for me because I get to work with clay and I get to make my own designs and it's just a really rewarding process I really love the last step of earring making which is assembly I think I'm really enjoying the construction and assembly aspect of it and being able to work with tools and such. I think in the beginning when I was making all those Animal Crossing pens, I just felt kind of, I don't know, beholden to it because I didn't think I could sell other things or I thought, you know, if I made these earrings or if I made original designs and interesting art that really speaks to me that I create myself and I design myself, no one would really want to buy it. So I felt like, oh, the only way to make my side hustle work is to pump out these Animal Crossing pins. But I think, I guess along the way, um, I gained more of an audience. I began meeting more artists online, which I'll talk about in my next voiceover. But I don't know, I guess somewhere along the way, I gained more confidence. And yeah, I think it is does come down to confidence, the confidence that you can make something and be confident that someone out there will want to buy it and also I guess the confidence that even if no one buys it I'm still gonna make this thing and I'm still gonna have fun doing it. I also feel like I love making earrings because every single time I do it I feel like I'm learning more about it and ways to improve on my next batch. For example the first batch, I realized, oh my gosh, I should have these little keyhole screws at the top, which will help me with assembly. And for the second, after making the second batch, I realized my, I was making my charms a little bit too big and they're kind of heavy on the ears and lightweightness is really important when making earrings. So for this third batch, I tried to make my earrings even smaller. And now for my fourth batch, I feel like I have some more intuition on what designs folks like. why I love making these little fluffy white dogs so much and they always turn out so cute. I love it. This one came out really good too. I think I'm realizing you put light brown and that can add some more dimension to the eyes so that's something I'm gonna keep in mind going forwards. Start your computations. I've never made this many earrings before, so I'm just not used to glazing this much at once. I also had to make, had glazed six pet pins, so it's just a bit overwhelming, and I feel like I was just like, oh, I gotta get this done, and then I made some mistakes on one, so I just took a break, and then now I finished glazing the rest of them. And 
get but because the earrings are charms the whole thing has to be glazed so the front and the back need to have resin on them so i kind of how i do it is i just glaze one side let it cure and then i'm going to do the other side so the front side of all my earrings are curing right now uh, with my like half broken lamp are you doing yoga Enormous. Joined cat. Can I touch your paw? Can I touch it? I touch it? No? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Whoa. She's long. Hey, friends. So, this is going to be a little voiceover because we're in a packing montage, and I think having a voiceover sometimes makes the content a bit more interesting and engaging. And I also wanted to find a space in the video to just say thank you so much. I have seen a lot of growth in my platforms over the past month or so. I'm at 400 YouTube subscribers and I recently surpassed 1,000 followers on Instagram. And these are just some milestones that feel really, really rewarding. I feel like it's been a couple months of me putting myself out there, trying to get exposure on the internet for my art and I mean, when you first start out, it can be a bit demoralizing, you know, like you're kind of exposing yourself and not a lot of people are engaging with you, which is totally fine, but I feel like I'm starting to see the fruits of my labors and I'm getting to meet all of these really, really amazing artists on Instagram and all over the world and we're talking about arts and crafts and all these things that I'm really into and it's just really nice to connect with people during, you know, these times and yeah, I just want to say thank you so much. I, I just can't believe that there are like a thousand plus people that are willing to engage with and comment and like my artwork. Um, it's just very, very, I don't know. I just feel a lot of, a lot of gratitude <laughs> right now. So I, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you so much for following me and supporting me. If you bought something from my shop, thank you so much. Um, definitely not an obligation. Never feel like you have to buy something from my store or support me financially, but you've engaged with my artwork in any, any way. I, yeah, just thank you. Thank you so much. I feel like I'm not being very eloquent, but just want to say thanks. Spicy. Yes! Oh, whoa! Okay, so she has been... Oh. <laughs> My sister's been propagating this jade leaf and Spicy despises it. So what she'll do is walk over here, take her paw, scoop it out, and then just throw it right on the ground. You see these little, little, little chompy bite marks? Yep, that's from Spicy. Oh my God. Don't stand there. I've just... Finished the last of my resin work, so I'm kind of finishing up the curing process for them in the sun. Look at them! They're almost done. So I have my charm. These are surgical steel hooks that I got off Etsy. The next thing I use, I think this is called a long post, but I basically have to make this connector part um, 
to hold the beads and connect both of these. Like that, this is a round nose plier by the way, so the whole thing is round. And then I just twist like that all the way around. Ooh, and I cut my thumb does a lot of that pushing work. Then you'll be left with something that looks like this. And then you just kind of have to tweak it with your pliers to have it be centered. And this is kind of the end loop. And then we're going to put beads onto it. Okay, now that our beads are, I think like right here would be enough yardage. So then I do the same thing, except I make sure to sort of nudge the wire in a particular direction. So when I twist it back over the loop, I don't have to spend ages adjusting. I mean, that's what it is in theory. And then I loop this. Ooh. Okay. And then now we have a little, a little thingy. So yeah, you just push out like so and then you close it up by pushing into the opposite direction that you did originally up all of my earrings which was a very nice feeling it is currently 9 43 so my shop update i announced i did like a little instagram counter and i said i would um release everything at noon which gives me a good amount of time to take all of my product photos and upload them all to etsy a good amount of time but i think i might like just make the mark i don't know if i'll have any extra time because i have to take i photographed 10 pairs of earrings and then edit them on Photoshop and then upload them all onto Etsy and then making the listings also takes a bunch of time. It's like a lot of labor, um, a lot of busy work, but yeah, let's go. I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited. there's only these one two three four five six because I sold four pairs already which is really great
so much for watching this video, especially if you watch to the end. I truly appreciate you so much. Please subscribe if you want to see more content from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.